Hey, it's Ryan here from Travel Landing Grand Prairie. I'm just doing my usual, trying to make my boss happy. I'm out here freezing. It's minus 30 today. It's December. I want to see how this Jayco Swift Lithium van does in the freezing cold. Okay, so here I am at the start of the test here on the Jayco Swift Lithium Edition. So our battery is currently at 71%. Okay, so to use the hydronic heating system, go to your main menu. You're gonna choose uh, the element you wanna use. There's either the electric element or this one is to use uh, gasoline from your fuel tank to heat the system. This is of course, if you'd wanna heat the water, but it's minus 30 outside, so we're not gonna do that. Um, but we can turn on the gasoline here, and this will start to boil the glycol. Once the glycol's boiling, it'll just radiate heat throughout the unit. Now you don't have to turn up the temperature before you start boiling the glycol. So I'm just gonna boil the glycol here, then I'll turn up the heat. Okay, I'm 15 minutes into this test here. Uh, you can see that that glycol is all warmed up. The tank temperature is 85 degrees Celsius now. Now we can turn up the temperature. All right, you can see that exhaust from the hydronic heating starting to go. I'm now 27 minutes into my test here. I'm starving. I'm gonna have to heat up some chili. I got my chili ready here. 45 minutes in, I got the, all the lights on. Uh, we got the heater running. We're still holding strong at 71% battery power. All right, here we are 45 minutes in. Uh, we've dipped down to 17 degrees Celsius. Again, I'm willing to go to any lengths to make my boss happy. So while I'm testing this heating system, I'm also gonna be testing this bed. I don't even feel like sleeping right now. I'm normally a very high energy person. In this case, I'm gonna push all that aside delay some of my normal highly productive behaviors okay i'm an hour into the test here you can see it's hovering between uh, 16 and 17 degrees celsius as the heater is actually located under the bed here uh, you can see the seat belts and everything you can see this little hatch over by the fridge here at this bed i've taken up the mattress uh, there's our timberline uh, tank there for the heating system Here's our little fans here blowing heat, but it's hard to keep up. It's just so cold outside. Now, after my commitment to trying this bed, I, I've been having a little bit of a hard time waking up. So I had to grab a coffee. I need my boss to be happy. We're gonna find out if we can get just, just a little, hey, good job, Ryan, or uh, I'm proud of you, or, you know, son, you are the most wonderful person that I've ever had in my life. You know, just something basic like that. Alrighty, I'm here now, two hours into the test. You can see here, I'm at 13 degrees Celsius. And we're two hours in, we're still at 70% battery. So our battery is going extremely well. Um, we haven't used the cab heat at all up to this point. I'm gonna try that out here right away. All right, so here we go. I'm just gonna turn on the heat in the cab here two hours and 47 minutes into the test here uh, now i got the cab on it's been running for 47 minutes it's taken us up to 20 degrees celsius two hours and 50 minutes in i'm at 69 percent battery all right so we performed the test here minus 30 degrees celsius the battery system performed incredibly well uh, we lost three percent on our battery and a test just under three hours. We started at in, the, in between 18 and 19 degrees Celsius. After two hours, we dropped down to just between 12 and 13 degrees Celsius. And at that time, I just turned on the cab and used the cabin heat. Um, 45 minutes in, we were up to 20 degrees Celsius. The hydronic heating system, it can't warm the van. It can't quite maintain the temperature. But if you need to boost that temperature, you can quickly boost it with the help of the cab. The battery system did exceptionally, unbelievably well. This lithium system is totally underrated. I think it will knock your socks off as far as what it's capable of.